Well, it turns out the Detroit Lions are going to have six wide receivers on their active roster. After all, we have some breaking news coming out of the city of Detroit. According to Detroit Lions Twitter, the Detroit Lions have announced roster moves. Now, remember, everything is pushed back a day due to Monday Night Football. It says Lions announced roster moves. Sign wide receiver Allen Robinson to the active roster. They signed linebacker Abraham Bowplan to the practice squad. Now, remember, Abraham played with us in the preseason. He was one of those cuts along with Ty Summers, who now is on the Giants 53-man roster that had to get cut when we went from 90 to 53. But why is this breaking news? To me, it's breaking news because the Detroit Lions not only snagged Tim Tim Patrick, Tim Patrick and Allen Robinson to get to their practice squad, but we indirectly went and added six wide receivers. So now we've got Amon Ross St. Brown, Jamison Williams, Khalif Raymond, Isaiah Williams, Tim Patrick, and Allen Robinson. Now what Allen Robinson did is, remember we talked about how Marcus Davenport was signed or was put on IR that created he's gone for the season that created a roster spot. So that takes us down to 52. Then Derek Barnes was placed on IR that took us down to 51. So the Detroit Lions wind up bringing up Tim Patrick that we're back up to 52 and now signing another wide receiver that makes us 53. Now, here's the question that I have. It's one of three reasons, or it could be a, a number of reasons that this was this was done. Remember, I made a video about Allen Robinson getting poached off the practice squad. Now, they don't have to deal with that until he was waived, right? He would have to be cut, waived, and then put back on the practice squad. Or they feel comfortable, like I do, with six wide receivers, and or Isaiah Williams is still not ready. Listen, three years ago, we would have one of the best wide receiver rooms in National Football League. This this right here would be, we would rival the Houston Texans at this point. I think while it's not three years ago, I'm at the point now, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, man. Next thing I need to know is who's going to come up to, to replace Marcus Davenport. It doesn't look like anybody is. It, it looks like maybe Josh Pascoe will play that role. Maybe Levi will get more. I think Pascal will see more edge and Levi could see more interior if Aleem McNeil can't go. Speaking of Aleem McNeil, he is day to day and or yeah, day to day, week to week. Frank Rag now is out. He will not place Monday. And that's exactly what we wanted. Lions, he's 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 got that. It, it was too risky for him to play in the first place. It was too risky for Frank Ragnow to play. I like this move. We knew Frank wasn't going to get his way. That coach was not going to let him play and potentially risk being out for the season. You are out. You can uh, be out. You, you miss. So that'll be, what, eight days? Then we've got the bye week. You can tack on another six. That's 14. Then it'll be probably 21 days or so before Frank would have to play again. And by that time, he could be good to go. So Allen Robinson turns out, Went into the season with four wide receivers, which I hate, by the way, and wound up four weeks into the season with six on the active roster. And those six I mentioned earlier in the video. So let me know your comments. Do you think this is I mean, I like it. I just want to get these guys involved. If we're going to move them up, let's get them involved. Let's get them involved. Tim Patrick, let's get them more involved. He's that big six, four, right? Let's get them more involved. If Allen Robinson, let's see what he got. Let's see if he still got some juice. Let's see. So I hope so now I'm I'm low-key getting excited. I mean, it ain't like, oh, uh, you know, I, I still was like, did we really just do this? Did we really just do this, right? So, but at the same time, it is what it is now. Now they're here. Let's get it done. Let's. I'm telling you, man, the only thing Brad needs to do for me is get a quality edge rusher opposite Aiden. That is all. So let me know your thoughts on the breaking news, man. At least it is to me. Allen Robinson Jr., or the second, I believe it is. Allen Robinson the second is now on the active 53-man roster for the Detroit Lions, which takes us up. We're back up to 53, and we also have six wide receivers. Now I'm super comfortable because, but now we're probably going to, oh, I just remembered. <laughs> wow how bad is donovan people's jones how how did that slip my mind how bad is dpj wow so now we have 
Tom Kennedy and DPJ. That means Lions going to sign somebody. Could Hunter Renfro be somebody? Could we bring back a Maurice Alexander? Could we bring back, I I think Caden Davis is off the table. I think he's with the Denver Broncos. Could we bring back? So the Lions will probably have to make something happen because now we have a spot on the, nope. Yes, we had a spot. We we should have a spot on the practice squad because we were at 16. We we elevate Tim Patrick, go back down to 15, sign Abraham, go back up, right? So we we brought up two and signed one. So we should have one more spot left if nobody else went through my radar. And that means that Lions are probably going to have a wide receiver, have to sign a wide receiver because we have four on the practice squad. So now we're down to two. So we could be waving somebody from there and signing another two who could be Hunter Renfro is not in the league right now. That is crazy. And we just saw Yannick Ngakwe just got signed to the Baltimore Ravens earlier this week after three weeks. So we could see a guy like Hunter Renfro. I wouldn't be mad at that either, man. You know what? Let's just go get everybody. Let's go sign all of these wide receivers without teams and bring them to the Detroit Lions, man. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, this channel is made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You could be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.